Hello everyone. So I have gotten a few requests on how I made my chat box for my main Neocities site, um, which will always be linked in the description. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Chattable, which is this really, really awesome um, free chat box site that allows you to customize your own chat box, um, like I said, for free with uh, CSS. So I'm just going to be explaining how I did that for my personal chat box and some tips and tricks you can use for your own chat box. I'm doing this with Neocities, but I'm pretty sure you can use this for other website builders like Card or I don't know, Wix. I don't think it works for just Neocities. But yeah, so we're just going to do a tutorial on how to set up a chat box that looks like this. Um, and yeah, just stuff I would recommend. I'm not really great with intros, but we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, a link will be in the description to Chattable. Um, awesome, awesome website very very impressive developer i think this is such a cool resource um i will always recommend it so once you get to chattable this is the home page and if you ever run into trouble they have like a live chat that you can ask and people respond like impressively quickly like relatively quickly um i've asked questions there before so if i don't know how to solve your issue if you ever run into an issue I would utilize that you are gonna have to make an account I believe all you need to make an account is um, a working email address I'm not even sure if they ask you to verify that but there'll be a place for you to do that um, it's pretty straightforward though and once you have made an account I'm quickly gonna go over like the website and kind of just like the features of it um, how it works so in the demo section is just like they have already a bunch of stylized chat boxes in case you are lazy or don't know how to customize it yourself you're welcome to just use one of the ones that they already have um, and then playground which i really like you can choose your chat box i've already made a couple um, for practice and like choose the template this is the template i used um, as like a base and then you can customize it here and the changes will like show up in real time the only thing about this though is this does not save so if like the page refreshes or like you exit out of it your changes will be gone but it is a cool way to see um, you can the changes automatically instead of having to like copy and paste it in a website um, and then help like I said they have literally so many resources if you ever get confused it makes it really easy to understand it so I would recommend um, going through some of this if you run into trouble or if you don't find my video helpful and then an update log um i guess for the sake of the developer and then your dashboard which is where you will go to create a new chat so like once you have your account set up you can see that's my email there um and we're going to create a new chat i'll walk you through it um you can check this box i'm pretty sure um the chat box i have on my site um is not 18 plus it's really funny whenever people send curse words it just like asterisks it out um, but once you do that you'll just click create and you've already created um, a chat box so these instructions are super straightforward very helpful but I'll quickly go through it um, you are gonna want to create well a new page of neo cities or if you already have a neo cities um, the neo cities and really quickly we are just gonna delete this line of code I always delete this as this deleting this makes um, your website layout like look the same on mobile as it does on laptop and then I am just gonna name my site the little name right here in the tab and now we can get started so we are just going to copy this line of code and like I and like it says paste it between head and head so we're just gonna put it here and then you are gonna want to put this line of code in between body and body and then as well this second line here since we have um not three four since we have already since we are customizing our chat box and we are not just using a pre-made template we are going to do this one instead of this one and paste it right there and so you are going to want to make another file in your neo cities also, if you um, aren't familiar with Neocities or are a little confused, I will leave a link in the description to another video I made. The audio is not great. I'm sorry about that. But that it just explains the basics of Neocities and kind of how to get started on a site. So that will be linked in the description. 
um, you're gonna make another file on NeoCities um, called chattable.css and I've already have a chattable.css that I use for my main website um, so I'm gonna name this one chattable 3 because chattable 2 I made for practice for this video so but you can name it whatever you want just make sure that the name of this matches the file name and the file will be completely blank and so now we can get into actually styling the chat box so um, we have our chat selected and then you can use any of the templates but for the sake of this video since this is the one i used on my main website we're going to use pastel and you're going to copy all of this code and paste it in chattable 3.css and if we were to save this the um and publish our site the chat box would look exactly like the demo chat box but we want to customize it a little bit so that is what we will get into now um everything i'm using will be linked in the description um and so first we are going to replace the font you can use whatever font you want but this is just the font that i chose and similarly we're going to replace the font and then for the background image so the background of the chat box um, a link in the description will be to this site with tons and tons of backgrounds this is where i find literally all of my backgrounds so once you find one you're going to copy the image address and then you are just going to paste it um, right here and i'm just going to copy my image address there like so And then I added a border around the messages. Oops, that's the one we haven't made yet. So I'm going to just add that here where it says sent and received. You're just going to do border. You can copy and paste the line of code from the pasty bin or you can just type it out or solid one PX solid black. And then you're gonna do that there. And then I believe I changed the color um, of the text from this gray color to black. Just personal preference, you can use whatever color you want. I'm just going over some things that you might want to change if you don't know where to start. Um, and then similarly, I made the font of the name of the person sending the message. So like you, for example, I made that this font and then I believe I changed it to black as well. And if we scroll down to background, the scroll bar color, I think I decided to make it white. So you're, again, welcome to change it however you want. These are just the settings I used for mine. And then scrolling down, scrolling down. Ah, it was literally right here. Um, I made this, or no, I left it alone and then I added a border radius zero so this is just the um this little thing right here it was curved and or it was like a circle and i wanted it to be a square so i changed that and then i deleted hashtag name entry but i will really quickly go over um scripted i literally mentioned this website in every single video but i love it so much um this is actually how i found out about chattable obviously their chat box is with chattable and it is so much cooler than mine but they have a really cool feature where you can change your name um, before you send something. And so if you um, wanna figure out how to do that, it's a little bit more coding. It doesn't seem super complicated though. I believe if you can do this, the basic chat box, you can figure out that. So they have a really good um, tutorial right here, name input option of Chattable. If you um, are interested in that, I just really quickly wanted to mention it. And then you're going to copy this entire thing as this is not um, already a little ID that's provided in the code. And then you're just going to paste it. And basically, this is the little message that pops up. Send a message so you can make it say whatever you want. You will just edit the text in between these quotation marks here. And you can adjust the font, the color, and the font size um, as you please. And then scrolling down to where it says owner before, I believe I, ch okay. I did not change the color, so I need to fix that. The color 
stays the same but this is basically your name when you send messages so that people can distinguish between like people using the chat box and you like the owner of the website the creator so i changed whatever was in this quotations to your name and then you were just going to want to delete um all the positioning and we will go over that why we did that very shortly and then this these three things right here this is when you like right click on a message this little menu here i just edited the colors of it um to fit more with the background i chose so again this is up to you if you want to do it but i believe i literally just changed the color so we will copy and paste that and then i made the background color white hover and made the text black and I got rid of the little text shadow just personal preference again and now we get into the emoji tray which are these little custom emojis which I will go over how that works so this little box that shows up here I edited it styled it to look how I wanted it to so it says delete the text shadow again just personal preference and then I made it black Box shadow black and I guess I made the border black and I changed the background color I added a border there was no border boom and then is typing that will be this little bubble when you start to type a message that comes up oh I swear it usually comes up. Um, okay, there we go. I think I just had to refresh the page for it to work. But the little um, is typing bubble, I styled that as well. Again, personal preference. You do not need to do that. So I made the background color. I made it black for the little bubbles. And then the bubble itself, I made this light shade of pink. And again, I believe... Yes, I added a black border. All right, so that um, is pretty much all the changes I made to my card. I guess the common items you would want to customize. Again, it is completely up to you um, what you want to change, what you don't want to change, how you want to change it. So yeah, those are hopefully just the basics so you can kind of get familiar with how something like this would work. Because I know for me, at least, this is the first time I had worked with like a CSS file and then implemented it in an HTML file. Okay, and so now that we have um, actually styled the chat, we are going to position it, um, adjust the width and height. And what I did, at least for my card, like a little extra step is I put the chat box in this like phone looking thing. Um, again, this is completely optional. I just think it adds another extra of layer of like oomph i guess so a link will be in the description to this pasty bin this is like the outline of the phone um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy just the first three paragraphs and then we are gonna paste it in um, the html file we are done with the css file but just make sure that after the first the open body tag you open a style tag and then close the style tag. And we are gonna edit a few things with the phone, which I will go over. Um, I'll edit this Google Doc and this part of it will be available. Um, the highlighted is what I changed from the original code. So we adjusted the height and the width as well as the positioning. So we will go in and change that. And then I changed the color of the phone. And then in the next two, I believe I just made the background white. And for this one, I deleted the box shadow. And now that we are done with the phone CSS, we actually have to implement it using HTML. So we will do that. And then close a div so that the um, 
chat box is within the phone. It's inside of the phone. And so we are going to publish it and see how it looks. Before you add the phone, this is how your chat box will look. You can see all of the stylized stuff. And so now we have the phone roughly in the middle of the screen, but you can see that the chat box does not fit inside the phone. So this is a very important step. You are just going to add these um, little lines here. And that should fix our issue. And if you click on the little settings icon, it will, um, there will be a little pop-up that asks you to log into your account. And so I've already done that, but once you do that, you will be able to send a message from the owner side. If you are not logged in, you'll just appear as another user of the chat box, but I can send a little practice message and you can see my name is a different color to show that I am the owner. So you are gonna wanna go into your dashboard and edit your display name because you can see I have it as my name. But the problem with that is that um, it shows up over my name. And so we adjusted the positioning of our name so that it's aligned to the left. Usually it's aligned to the right and it, the default is it just says owner in parentheses. But um, I personally am not a fan of that. You're welcome to leave that as it is, but it tends to overlap depending on your message size and just not look super great. So the solution for that is um, you can look this up like online, literally just type in like empty space, uh, transparent symbol, just like a, something to copy like a blank space and then you're going to replace your display name. You can see that if we were to send another message, um, I had to reload the page. So the message before it didn't work it is fixed so that is just um something i recommend and now that we are done with that we can add some custom emojis i'm just going to delete um this extra message here perfect so if you right click the message you can see all the different options you have as um, admin the person using your chat box will not have this many um options so yeah, we can add custom emojis right now because you can see that we don't have any. This process is also relatively simple, way more simple than you think. So you're gonna select your chat and then you can see it on the side here and then you're gonna go custom emojis settings and this link will be in the description. This is where I get like 95% of my pixels. So for the sake of this video, we're just gonna choose some random ones. So copy image address, paste it, and then um, we'll say star and enter. And there it is. Um, star is if the user types in that, it will, the image will send, but you can also just have them send it. It will show up in your chat emoji. You see it's there and I can send it or I could do this, type it like that and it will send so that's how you can do it you can have as many or as little um as you would like so yeah I, I don't know if you guys could hear the notification when someone sends a message but the notification sound but that's kind of cool and i think that that is pretty much it um for this tutorial we went over the phone um the iframe the emojis your display name yeah that's pretty much it. Um, you know, as usual, if you need any help, have any questions, uh, please let me know down below. Hopefully this was understandable and straightforward. Like I said, um, lots of people asked me about my chat box and how I did it. So I thought I would just make a quick little tutorial. Again, you can customize it however much or however little um, you like, which is why this I think this resource is so cool and is so essential um, in website building. But yeah um but uh, that's pretty much it i'm also bad at outros but if you have any questions need any help have any more recommendations for videos i should make uh, all my socials are linked in the description um, i'd be happy to converse with you or take any ideas you might have um, but yeah as usual thank you guys so much for watching again i really hope that this was helpful and i will see you all in the next video bye bye